If you're planning a trip to Montenegro, then you've made it to the right place to find out the top things to do in Corte Bay. We're here to help you map out your perfect vacation in this Balkan paradise, from where to go and how long, down to where to eat and swim. We've got a lot to say, but first let's cut to the chase Montenegro and Hungary are the two most beautiful places in the Balkans by far, and the crown jewel of Montenegro is Kotor Bay. Nestled in one of the most gorgeous bays in the Adriatic Sea, Couture Bay charms people with its Venetian-style architecture, Italian cuisine and fantastic scenery. In Couture Bay, there are several small settlements, most notably Perast, Dobroda and Couture Town. We strongly recommend that you see all three of these villages on your trip. If you've been researching travel in Montenegro, it's likely you've read more about Budva than Couture. But don't be misled by Budva's popularity. Kotor is much, much prettier. Budva is the most popular destination in the country due to its spectacular location on the coast and, though it is still wonderful, all of the ongoing construction really takes away from its idyllic potential. People still flock to Budva, especially Russian tourists. So, don't get us wrong, we would definitely recommend that you see Budva too, particularly Sveti Stefan and Budva Old Town. What we're trying to say is you shouldn't pass over the many things to do in Kota Bay for a stop in Budva just because it's more famous. As soon as you step foot in Kota, you'll understand why we like it so much. It is an incredibly cool town straight from the Middle Ages. Various civilizations have ruled Kota throughout going on a history, boat tour but the, the Venetians most were the most influential. Sites in the bay. They were able to rule for 400 years from 1420 to 1797, and their influence is evident today. The Venetian architecture has remained, and we have to say that the Italians know their aesthetics. Add to this Kota's natural beauty, and you have a destination within reach that promises to take your breath away. Roaming the streets of any city is a delight, but out of all the things to do in Kota Bay, taking in Kotor Old Town is at the top of our list for its legacy and charm. The villages of Kotor Bay still retain all the magic of their long histories. Life continues somehow uninterrupted, of the three, Kotor has the largest historical center. Unlike the other towns, Kotor is surrounded by fortified walls which you can trek along. The walls go all the way up to the top of the mountain behind the village and intersect with the castle there. Inside the walls is the charming medieval old town where the rich used to live. The narrow streets built to protect from the sun are typically lined with Venetian constructions. Some squares of running fountains and there are adorable cafes, restaurants, and itty-bitty souvenir shops that will steal your heart. There's a car park right in front of Kota Old Town. Outside the car park is where the boats leave on the boat tours. A one-hour tour goes directly from Kota to Parast and takes a break for half an hour on Our Lady of the Rock. It costs a UR10 per person. If you want to get a private boat, then you can probably get a trip for as low as EUR7080 for three to four people. Because the boats in front of the parking lot are so visible, they might not be able to lower their price. In this case, if you walk in the direction of Dobroda for about one to two minutes, you'll see another port where there are boats. They are more competitive in terms of